Hey guys, CivicKid96 here, back with a shoe review. Uh, it's been a long time, but let's get to it. Um, the, recently, they've been releasing a lot of retros that I've gotten back 10 years ago, and this one will definitely be on one of them. Uh, it is the Jer uh, nah, Jer Air Jordan 7 Raptor, which I don't like calling. I'll just call them the charcoal colorway. Um, here's my 2002 pair, which is right here in this box. Air Jordan 7 Retro, 10.5 in the black dark charcoal true red colorway um, this was easy to get back in the day uh, I remember going online there's no such thing as like bogged um, internet lines and whatnot but here is the left shoe of that pair I'm gonna go ahead and do a comparison there's that and here is the new thank you nike.com for crushing my box but here's the box here ten and a half God, it's really shoddy, man, these new boxes compared. You can see my old one there lasted the last 10 years. Same colorway, the black, true red, dark charcoal, club purple. They had, decided to add the club purple part. Let's go ahead and open that. And I'll bring out the left shoe in that, and I'll do a comparison. You're asking me why I got another pair of these shoes. I didn't. This is actually for a buddy of mine. And uh, he couldn't get them on release day, so I decided to cop it for him and uh, help him out. So here's the left shoe of this year's retro. We'll have it right here. And here's the left shoe of 2002. Okay. Here you go. There's that. There's that. You can go ahead and look. Uh, this is the 2012 pair. You can see the, uh, the midsole. The uh, peaks and valleys here. Uh, you have the red and the purple. Same thing on the other side here. Actually, this one on my 2012 or 2002 pair for uh, that looks sharper. There's that comparison. There it is, all laced up with the uh, actual shoe protector inside the shoe. Why didn't they do that for the GMP sevens? I don't know. There's the back 23 here. Here's the back 23 of my uh, 2002 pair on this side. There's that. Um, obviously, mine are going to be dirty here on the bottom. They're not that bad. And here's the comparison. As you can see, probably since mine over the years, it's a little darker on the left side, but still wearable. I, I've heard unfortunate people about their pairs keeping them DS for so long, their 2002 pairs, and finally wearing them and them breaking down. So another lesson, wear your shoes. Uh, same pattern looks like on there. You know, they're the same on the bottom. Look at the inside there. Check this out. There. You can see the hint of yellow there. They don't have anything like that. Well, they do. It would be bright if it was still DS, but this is a DS pair here. Um, the Jumpman. The Jumpman's on this one. This is a 2002 right here. On that side, looks a little better quality. Here's this year's right there. Eh, looks the same to me. Uh, if I take this out real quick, oh, here's what the difference right here. Cheap black tip laces for this year in the 2002 pair. Silver tip laces right there, you can see that. Actually pretty durable too. This, yeah, just it looked like Jordan Brand cutting corners again, but that's what that looks like. So that's that. Um, again, this is not my pair. This is a pair for a friend that I purchased for on Nike store. I can't believe they sold out of these. And they sold it everywhere that weekend, that Labor Day weekend. But um, all in all, it's not bad. The Durabuck there, mine's more Nubuck-ish Durabuck here. It's more, yeah, see, I can feel the difference here on this one. This It's a little bit more suede and more pull, more supple, actually, the leather. This, it's Durabuck. I can tell... But the 2012 pair, it's a lot more Durabuckish. It's not, it feels ashy. It feel, I mean, it looks good. Don't get me wrong. It looks really good. Now look at that. It even came in pre-creased. But hey, it's a pair is a pair, you know. Mine was creased after a few walks. But yeah, man, these are definitely, um, the 2002 pair, uh, like I said, I paid only $1, 110 120 for them back then. Let me look at the price. I think it was... Yeah, well, it was 120 at the time, and you're paying 160 for what you got now. But 
I still have my 2002 pair. Like I said, I was really interested. And um, like I said, did a favor for a friend. The tongues looked almost the same as well. So again, there's no major difference. Um, if you like the shoe, it's a great OG colorway that you needed to pick up. This is the one to do it. Um, a lot of people, I, I'm clamoring. I want the Orions back. I sold mine. I actually bought the uh, rat, you know, the charcoal and the uh, the flint blues, or the you know, the flint blues at the same time. And I ended up selling them because I didn't like it. Here's the back pull tab. You can tell the difference. It's not as elongated as you can see. Here's 2002, 2012. And there you have it. It's a pretty, pretty decent comprehensive review on the shoe. The laces. They're the same laces. I don't see what people are complaining about. They're kind of ovalish. Still the same. So, again, if you manage to get your pair, that was a good time to get it. This is my 2002 pair. I'm glad I have it. I will rock it still. And it's still durable like a tank. I could probably still get away with a few more wears. But, anyway, that's it for that shoe review. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Uh, I'll try to come out with more videos, but uh, I got some more things to review. A lot of pickups. And uh, hope to see you then. Rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, tell people about my channel. And uh, thanks again for watching. And see you in the next video.